let's find the first and third quartiles of these four datasets. In each case, we'll have to split the dataset at the median, and then the median of the lower half of data is Q1, and the median of the upper half is Q3. We have to begin by making sure our data is in order from least to greatest. In this case, each dataset is already ordered, so we can start working. We have to begin by finding the median. A popular way to do that is to eliminate numbers alternating left to right until we get just one number in the middle. In this case, that is 7. That's the number in the middle, so we'll split the data there, separating it into a lower half and an upper half. So we're going to eliminate that median of 7, and that leaves us this lower half and this upper half. Now, Q1 is the median of the lower half of data, which we see is 3. That's the number in the middle of the lower half of data. So Q1, the lower quartile, is 3. On the other hand, we see that 12 is the median of the upper half of data, so Q3, or the upper quartile, is 12. In the next example, again, we have to begin by splitting the data into a lower half and an upper half. We can find that A is the median, so we can split the data there into a lower half and an upper half. Now, the only difference we're going to see in these examples is how sometimes there's not a single number in the middle. So right now, if we're looking for the first quartile, we must find the median of the lower half of data. But we see there are actually two numbers in the middle. So the median of the lower half of data we consider to be the average of those two numbers in the middle, or the number that's halfway between them. The average, or the number halfway between, 3 and 4, is 3.5. So Q1, the lower quartile, is 3.5. We see the same thing in the upper half of data. There are two numbers in the middle, 11 and 14. So the upper quartile is going to be the number halfway between them, which is 12.5. In this example, when we try to find the median to split the data into two halves, we find that there are two numbers in the middle, 7 and 9. So we're just going to split the data right between those two numbers. So then here's our lower half, and here's our upper half. Then we can see that Q1, the lower quartile, the median of the lower half of data, is 4. And Q3, the upper quartile, the median of the upper half of data, is 11. In this last example, again we have two numbers in the middle, so we'll split it right Right there between those two numbers. There's the lower half, there's the upper half. The median of the lower half, Q1, is going to be the number halfway between those two numbers in the middle. Technically, the number halfway between 1 and 1 is just 1. Similar thing in the upper half of data, the median, which is Q3, is going to be the number halfway between 5 and 6, which of course is 5.5. Again, to find that number halfway between two numbers, you can just find their average, 5 plus 6 over 2. That's 11 over 2, which is 5.5. And if you want to find the interquartile range of each data set, just take the third quartile and subtract the first. Those are the interquartile ranges. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my statistics course and statistics exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.